Good day everyone, it's me again, Nasmiel Kai, based at Math Learning. For this video, I'm going to discuss the projection. So, projection formula gives the relation between angle and sides of a triangle. We can find the length of a side of the triangle if other two sides are corresponding angles are given using projection formula. If A, B, and C be the length of side of a triangle and A, B, and C are angles opposed to the sides respectively. So let's proceed to the projection formula. So, projection formula, we have three, three types. So, first, A is equal to B cos C plus C cos B. Second, B is equal to C cos A plus A cos C. Third, C is equal to A cos B plus B cos A. So, let's proceed to the example using this formula. So, example, in a triangle, A, B, C, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 4, are the two sides, and B is equal to 30 degree, and C is equal to 60 degree, are the angles. Find the third side. So, Proceed to the solution. Given B is equal to 2, C is equal to 4, B is equal to 30 degree, and C is equal to 60 degree. So, we're going to use the first formula of the projection formula. We have A is equal to B cos C plus C cos B. So, a is equal to 2 cos 60 plus 4 cos 30. Because our B is equal to 2, then our capital letter, capital of C is 60 degree, then our C is 4 and our capital B is 30. So, A is equal to 2x, 1 over 2 plus 4, squared of 3 over 2. So, the value of unit circle of 60 and 30 degree in x is one half and square root of three over two. So A is equal to one plus two point square root of three. So is equal to A A is equal to one plus two times one point seventy three seven hundred 7320 so a is equal to 1 plus 3.464 is equal to 4.464 or 4.5 so this is how to to solve projection formula using the using the three formula of projection so that's all thank you